course, I've done it for three years at the state capitol. Um, we kind of got into it. Asa wanted to start doing it, and so then we kind of hopped in with it. And then this year, as I'm graduating, I'm kind of leaning to I'm passing the torch over. We started off county level, and I passed it to Miss Caroline. And so hopefully she gets to start carrying on that tradition and bring it to the state capitol. I've been raising turkeys for about four years in 4-H. We actually started the poultry chain because of Gary Kaufman. He has a turkey farm in Hattieville and he donates the turkeys every year so I got into it over that. So we get them as poults I and mean, we get 12 of them. Every kid gets 12 and so we start off with the process. We keep them in like a refrigerator box. We keep a heat lamp on them with shavings and we raise them up until they're about this big. We put them outside in an outside pen so where we still keep the heat lamp on them and then eventually whenever they get a little bit older and they're able to kind of fend for themselves and they outgrow their pen, they kind of just get to a free roam until they're about the size of Hector and then he kind of just lives here and then they're ready for the fair. So getting ready towards the fair process, we wash them like you would any other animal with Dawn dish soap, we scrub them real good, and we blow them off, and then a secret we've learned over the years, it took many years to do it, um, we started using baby powder to keep them white. We do that on sheep, so I raise market lambs, and one of the things you do to keep them white and pretty is you put baby powder on them, so we figured, well, we can try it with a turkey. I definitely would promote the idea of starting off with a turkey project. It's really easy to get younger kids into it and kind of grow into bigger agriculture, especially like say you start off with a turkey and then you grow into showing a sheep. It's kind of a good lead-in project. So we take two to the fair, like my sister and I would each have two that we'd pick to take to the fair. And then to pick which one got pardoned, we just went on who was the gentlest. Like Hector over here, my nephew has petted him and played with him, so he's really gentle, that's why he's kind of chill. So we sort of go off which one's gonna be the most friendly and not jump out of the wagon. Cause that was my sister and I, our first year going up there, we had never you know, trained a turkey, so we didn't know how that was gonna go. And we were really afraid that it was gonna jump out of the wagon on the Capitol steps. So <laughs> we kind of just go on who's gonna behave the best and be the most friendly. Cause everybody likes to pet turkeys apparently. We didn't know that. <laughs> So as a member of 4-H, and this is my graduating year, we decided to host a pardon, pardon the turkey at Conway County at our courthouse. And so that way we could get Miss Caroline used to what the day is going to look like at the state capitol and I could kind of pass the torch along to her. So we had our mayor speak to us today about the importance of agriculture and the importance of 4-H in the county.